Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and this is the fifth video in our series of things that I've heard my non-vegan friends and family say over and over and over again for my entire life since I've been a vegan, which was when I was 19 years old, 15 years ago. I'm 34 years old right now. Hopefully, I look younger than 34. I've always looked kind of young for my age, so hopefully now that I'm getting older, it'll be a good thing. If you guys like this series, check out the other videos. They're on the screen right now. There's links to them down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share these videos with all your friends. This will help a lot of vegans out there be more comfortable in their veganism, and it might even turn some meat eaters to vegan, hopefully. And today's video is about this comment. Here's the comment. I hear this so many times in different variations of this. Jake, I was just at the store today. You'll be happy for me because you're vegan and I'm not. There was a dog in a car and the car was closed and the human was gone. The dog was panting and the dog was almost dead. And I was able to call the authorities and rescue the dog out of the hot car. <laughs> and at first glimpse, you're like, oh my God, you're an amazing Samaritan, you saved the dog. I've heard this story over and over again. At first glimpse, you might say, Jake, what's your problem with that? At first, I was always celebrating with the person. I was like, hey, you know what? You're a great Samaritan, you saved an animal. I can't believe it. What a great thing to do and a compassionate thing to do. But the more I start thinking about it, we usually be having this conversation at a restaurant or over dinner. And then they would order a burger, or they would order the fish, or they would order some chicken or they order chicken wings and I would have the vegan thing. And I started thinking about it, this actually ticks me off. How come you're extending compassion and you're going out of your way to save one kind of animal, but then while you're telling me the story about how you saved the canine, you're eating like Hannibal Lecter, the other animal. How come you're extending your compassion and animal love for dogs and cats but you guys out there who are not vegan, why don't you extend that compassion and courtesy and you know, love further toward cows and pigs and chickens? How come animal number one is for love and companionship and animal number two is to be born into a life of pain and suffering, murdered and slaughtered and then eaten like Silence of the Lambs? I really don't understand this and every year that goes by that I'm still a vegan, I'll be in 16 next year, my 16th year. This double standard that we have in today's culture really starts to make me upset. I'm very good at compartmentalizing my emotions. So at the time, I'm always celebrating the, the saving of the dog from the shelter or the saving of the cat from the hot car. But after the fact, I'm always angry that how come you know, good-natured people think it's okay to save dogs and cats and pet and rescue and live with dogs and cats, but eat? other animals. Nobody out there watching right now would eat cat gravy and a dog steak or an actual hot dog that was made of dogs, a Bichon Frise hot dog or a calico cat gravy. Nobody would do that. It's disgusting. So how come it's okay to do that out of pigs, chickens, cows, fish, and other animals? I don't get it. And you know what? If you're a non-vegan, I don't even want you to explain to me anymore. I've heard it all, I'm done. My opinion is my opinion. Let's extend our human compassion toward all animals, no matter what variety they are. Tell me down below in the comments if you guys have ever heard this said to you before and if you thought about it the way that I thought about it, which is how come we love one animal and eat the other? I wanna know. And any other ideas you guys have for future videos on this series, put it down in the comments and I'll see you guys then. Go vegan, grow your food at home, and I will see you guys back here for the next video. Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and today is November the 25th. It's my birthday today, and it's also the day before Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving every year is an interesting holiday for me because in America, Thanksgiving's always surrounded by two key things. Number one, family, and number two, a feast. And you guys know that I'm the vegan athlete, and so Thanksgiving is always a weird time of the year for me because I'm the only vegan person in my family, either on my wife's side or 